Well, there are plenty of twists and turns on season two of Fox's dating series, Farmer Wants a Wife. And our very own Caledonia's Grace Gerard is here. She's one of the contestants back in studio with an update on how things are going. Grace, we're so happy to see you. Yes, I'm so happy to be back and provide some updates for you guys. Yeah, <laughs> okay, so um, for people who may have not been catching up on the season, um, you have a big date tonight. I do. This so is catch a big us week. up to um, how things have been going for you uh, with Farmer Brandon. Yeah, things have been going really well with Farmer Brandon. I think like at this point he's really recognized um, my personality and, and that I'm just there for him. So it's really paid off and I get the solo date tonight. <laughs> what about Brandon uh, that attracted you? Yeah, that's a great question. He is extremely level-headed. He's a very genuine person, um, and he was just so kind to all of us. Like, he really took the time to kind of, like, invest in each relationship that he had going on. So I recognized that very early on and um, just how calm, cool, and collected he was, and I think I, I really was drawn to that. So you've been posting on social media kind of some <laughs> slivers of your experience. Yeah. Um, but what has emerged from the first few episodes anyway is you can't do this experiments, so to speak, without some drama along the way. So yeah. you calm, cool, and collected through a lot of this drama. <laughs> do you think that that worked to your advantage? It definitely did. Um, that's something that he gave me a lot of props for, which I loved. Um, so I feel like I was just kind of there and trying you to right along. there I am. next to him yeah, right that next says to something. him <laughs> yes what about the other ladies what was that relationship like yeah yeah i actually got along with all the ladies i really enjoyed um getting to know them and i can call some of them my lifelong friends so we we really bonded it was kind of like a trauma bonding experience yeah. <laughs> but um for the most part like i just kind of cruised along and uh Develop some good friendships. So, so you go from like a, this big, beautiful kind of showcase house to uh, a ranch, essentially, mm -hmm. um, in Colorado. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, what was that process like for you? Like, how do you morph into this, uh, you know, one place, a lot of different personalities? How did you handle that? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, obviously, a lot of people kind of living all in one area. Um, between us girls, we were split between two bedrooms. So it was kind of like a big slumber party every night uh, with some drama going on. So it was kind of a lot to process. Um, but for the most part, I really wanted to take time for myself. So like every morning, I would go out and walk with the dog or just kind of hang out outside and really get some sunshine and relax. Um, Is the farm was... life for you? Could you do it? <laughs> it was beautiful out there. I definitely could kind of see myself out in an area like Colorado. I mean, you get the fresh air every day, yeah. so there's some benefits. There's yes. a lot that you don't see behind the scenes <laughs> yes. on air with us, but probably some with you too. Correct. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. we're excited a to lot. see some more uh, of that one-on-one -on -one tonight. Farmer Wants a Wife. Grace, thank you so much for being with us today. Absolutely. We hope to see you again. Absolutely. That picture, though, was good, though. Yeah. She was on the inside. Right? <laughs> <laughs> more Wake Up After the Break.